Welcome everyone. Today's lesson is on math calculations in science using significant figures. So let's take a problem. We're going to add these two numbers together, 65 million years plus 38 years. Pause the video and see what you get for an answer. You probably guessed there was a trick here. 65 million years does not equal 38 years. So I'm going to give you a little example that I got off NPR that explains why 65 million years does not equal 38 years. It's a nice little story. I think you'll enjoy it. Something, uh, a word that maybe you've coined, but disestimation, what's that? Disestimation is the act of taking a number too seriously and trusting it far beyond the point at which you can uh, stop trusting it. What's an example of that? The examples of, of Joe McCarthy is a good example. Or, or actually, that was that was an outright lie. <laughs> um, but a nice anecdote I like to talk about is is a uh, guide at the American Museum of Natural History who's pointing at the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Someone asks, "How old is it?" And he says, "It's sixty five million and thirty eight years old." Sixty five million and thirty eight years old. How do you know that? The guide says, "Well, when I started at this museum thirty eight years ago, the scientist told me it was sixty five million years old." Therefore, now it's 65 million 38. That's an act of disestimation. So I hope you understand why that's funny. If the dinosaur was 65 million years when the guard started and he worked 38 years, the answer is not that the dinosaur is 65 million and 38 years old because the 65 million was an estimated number. It had a plus or minus, possibly plus or minus in the millions place. We don't know. So if it's 65 million plus or minus a million years, adding 38 years is insignificant. So we are going to round that to the millions place. If 65 plus or minus a million years, adding 38 years doesn't make a difference. And we're going to round that to the millionth place. So what are the rules for adding and subtracting numbers in science? and reporting the answers to the correct significant figures. Well, write these down. Here are the rules. First, you find the plus or minus place for each number. 65 million years possibly was plus or minus a million years. Then we're going to add or subtract as normal, and we're going to round the answer to the worst plus or minus place, which happens to be the largest place. So the 38 years was probably plus or minus a year, because he probably wasn't the exact date when he gave it um, that he started. But the 65 million was plus or minus a million years. So we're going to round to the worst. What is worse, plus or minus a year or plus or minus a million years? The plus or minus a million years is the worst plus or minus place or the largest plus or minus place. If the number after the rounding place is less than five, we're going to round down. And if the number after the rounding place is greater than five or five itself, we're going to round up. So how do I do that if the number after the rounding place is less than five? How do I round down? Well, this is how you do that. If the number has a decimal, then you're going to drop the numbers after the rounding place. So if I'm going to round 0 0.054 grams to the hundredths place, the number after the hundredths place is four. That's less than five. So I am just going to drop it, get rid of it. I'm going to round down, get rid of that four, and it becomes 0 0.05 grams. But what if the rounding place is in the tens place or higher? Then I'm going to change the remaining places to zero and drop any decimal points, and any decimals if there are any. So what if I have to round 1530 milliliters to the hundreds place. Well, what's after the hundreds place? Here's the hundreds place, the five. What's after it? That's a number less than five, so I'm going to drop it. But I can't drop it. I can't round 1530 to just be 15 milliliters. What am I going to have to do with the 30? In this case, because there's no decimal, I'm going to put zeros in their place. So 1530 becomes 1500. So here again is that example from the beginning, 65 million years plus 38 years you add as normal, 65 million and 38, but we're going to round to the millions place. So what do I do with this 38? I'm going to drop them by making them zeros. 
So what happens if the number after the rounding place is five or greater than five? Then we're gonna round up. So let's try this example. What if we have 0 0.056 grams and I want to round to the hundreds place? So what are we gonna do if the number has a decimal? So then I'm gonna re increase the rounding place to six and once again, I'm gonna drop everything after the rounding place. But what if the rounding place is tens place or greater? Then once again, just like before, I have to change the remaining numbers to zero. So if I want to round 1560 to the hundreds place, which is right here at the five, I notice the number after the five is greater than five. So I gotta round this up. So I'm gonna round this five to six, but I can't just drop these numbers. I have to turn them into zeros. So 1560 becomes 1600. Now it's very important that you don't add zeros to the number up here when we did this example, because if I added the zero, then I wouldn't be rounding to the hundreds place, I would be rounding to the thousands place. So here's a few more examples, round the following numbers to the hundreds place. So here's the hundreds place right at the four, here's the hundred place right at the six. What's the number after the rounding place? This is five. So I've got a round up, so this becomes 3,500 grams. And here, what's the number after the rounding place? Three, less than five, so I'm gonna round down 7,600 liters. Round the following places to the hundredths place. What if I have a decimal? So the hundredths place here is the three. So what comes after the three? A four, that's less than five. So I'm going to just drop it all together, 0 0.03 grams and 0 0.168 to the hundreds place. The six is where the hundreds place is. The eight, which is after the rounding place, is greater than five, so I'm going to round up, and this becomes 0 0.17 liters. So now it's your turn. Round the following numbers as indicated. Round 4378 to the tens place, and then round 0 0.1933 to the thousandths place. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you get it right. Did you get them right? Rounding the following numbers, 44,378 rounded to the tens place. The seven is the tens place. What's after the seven? An eight, that's greater than five, so I round up to 4,380. And for the second problem, we're gonna round 0.1933 to the thousandths place. The first three is the thousandth place, and the number after that is three, which is less than five. So I'm just gonna drop it and it's gonna become 0 0.193. So let's review the rules for addition or subtraction. You're gonna find the plus or minus place for each number. You're gonna add or subtract as normal, and then you're gonna round the answer to the worst plus or minus place, which happens to be the largest place. So. Let's try these two examples. What if I want to round 12, uh, add 12.35 grams with 0 0.138 grams? This may happen in the lab if you have two different types of balances and you weighed a sample on one balance and then a, an additional part of the sample on another balance and then you want to know the total mass. So I'm going to add it as normal, 1 to 12.488 grams, but I have to round it to the appropriate place. So this number, 12.35, only goes to the hundredths place. This goes to the thousandths place. So I have to go back and round it to the hundredths place. So that's right here. And eight is after the hundredths place. So I'm gonna round it up to 12.49. Here's another example, 4,500 milliliters minus 182 milliliters. I'm gonna subtract like normal and then see what place each goes to. The first number only goes to the hundreds place because this looks like a rounded number to me and nobody gave me any additional information. This goes to the ones place, but I have to take the worst case scenario, which is the hundreds place. So I've got a round right here at the three. What's after the three? Less than five. So I round that to 4,300 milliliters. Now it's your turn. Subtract the following numbers and report the answer to the correct number of significant figures. Pause the video and see if you get it right. Did you get it right? 
Subtract them as normal gives me 15.143 grams. This second number only goes to the hundreds place. This one goes to the thousands. So my answer can only go to the hundreds and my answer is 15.14 grams. One more. Add the following and report to the correct number of significant figures. 4,530 plus 358. Pause the video and see if you get it right. Did you get it right? Normally it adds up to 4,888 meters, but I have to round it to the tens place because this only goes to the tens place. This goes to the ones place. So what's after the tens place? An eight, so I'm gonna round up to 4890, 4,890, and I should have put an M there for meters. So what about multiplication and division? They have different rules. They do not look at the place at all. They look at the number of significant figures. So here are the rules. You multiply or divide as normal, but now instead of looking at the place for each number, you're gonna count the significant figures in each of the numbers that you're multiplying or dividing. And then you're gonna round the answer to the smallest number of significant figures in those numbers. So if one has two, one has three, one has five, the lowest number of significant figures, two, you'd be rounding to two significant figures. So let's look at a couple examples. You're gonna solve and report to the correct sig figs, 0.45 centimeters times 0.211 centimeters, and eight, 1,700 liters divided by, by 0 0.320 seconds. So what you do is you first do the math. So this is what my calculator shows me for the answer to this. Then I have to go back and count how many significant figures there were in each of the numbers. So 0.45 has two. You start counting left to right, one, two, three significant figures. So the lower of those two numbers is two. So I have to round my answer to two significant figures. So I start counting left to right, one, two significant figures. I have to stop at this four, but what's after the four? A nine, five. So I have to round up so it becomes 0 0.095 centimeters squared. The next example, I do the math as normal, but then I go back. How many sig figs in 8,700? Well, that's one of those tricky ones. It's a multiple of 10, so I'm counting left to right, one, two significant figures, unless I have more information. And the bottom one, counting left to right, one, two, three significant figures. So once again, I have to round to two significant figures. So I get an answer of, uh, well, first let's do two significant figures. I have to stop at the seven. What do I do with the remaining numbers? Well, that's less than five. So I have to change those into zero and this becomes 27,000 liters per second. Now it's your turn, pause the video and give the answer to these two problems. Go ahead, pause, and then come back. We'll see if you got it right. Did you get them right? Here's what the answer is with before rounding. Then I go back and count sig figs, one, two, three, four in this number, and only one in this number. So my answer can only have one sig fig. What about the next one? One, two, three sig figs in the top, one, two, three, four, five, six sig figs in the bottom. So I can only have three in my answer. So I have to round this answer to three, one, two, three sig figs. I have to stop at the eight. What's after the eight? A number less than five or equal to the number less than five. So I round to 12.8. So I'm going to break this video up into two. So come back for part two of math calculations with significant figures. What if you have both addition, subtraction, and multiplication and division? Thanks for listening.